Pradesh 23 trial was uh, an academic trial uh, which was done in uh, 35 centers uh, in France. The basis was uh, that preoperative chemo radiotherapy followed by TME uh, is the standard of care since 2004. And uh, since that, uh, we have not improved uh, overall survival. And even recently, 25 to 30 patients of the patients uh, develop uh, distant uh, metastasis. And uh, adjuvant chemotherapy is probably not enough because compliance uh, is usually poor. So the aim uh, of this trial was uh, to use uh, uh, for Firinox, which has a, a high response rate is metastatic colorectal cancer to reduce the rate of uh, uh, relapse with metastasis, uh, metastatic disease. So uh, the, the design was very simple. Uh, it was comparison between uh, preoperative chemo radiation followed by surgery with TME and post-op adjuvant chemo with six months Folfox or capcitabine according to treatment choice and we compare that to six cycles of upfront folfirinox, the same chemo radiation, the same surgery and three months of the same adjuvant chemo Folfox or capcitabine. So the only difference between the two arms was for the same duration of chemotherapy was uh, three cycles uh, of, uh, uh, of chemotherapy before. So it was perioperative chemotherapy as compared to adjuvant chemotherapy in T3, T4 rectal cancer. The main results of the, of the trial was that compliance of uh, the six cycles of falfirinos was good with nearly 92% of patients who receive the six cycles. Uh, uh, the compliance to chemo radiation was the same, but uh, as usual, 8% uh, of the patients in the Falfirinox arm discontinued capcitabine before the end of uh, radiation. At restaging before surgery, uh, there was less metastatic disease uh, in uh, the uh, uh, upfront chemotherapy arm, and the difference is significant. There was at surgery less non therapeutic laboratory due to perioperative detection of multiple metastases, which were not detected at CT scan uh, before surgery, less unresectable uh, or R2 resection. Uh, the um, the morbidity was the same and uh, it was uh, a good surgery with uh, only 14% uh, of uh, uh, total uh, abdominal perineal resection and 96% of the patient at total mesorectal excision, no R1 uh, resection. And uh, postoperative mo mo mortality was significantly reduced in uh, the uh, uh, upfront chemotherapy uh, arm. And when we look at postoperative pathology findings, uh, there was uh, uh, more than uh, two times, uh, twice as much tumors classified at T0 and 0 in the Falfirinox arm. The difference is 27.8% versus 12%. And of course, it, it is uh, significant. Adjuvant chemo was better to tolerated in uh, the uh, Falfirinox arm, even if you look at only the free first month of uh, treatment and at the end of the treatment, less neuropathy in uh, the Falfirinox arm. And the most important result for the patient is we have a significant increase in DFS and it was our aim uh, endpoint, primary endpoint, and we have also uh, less metastasis uh, and the difference 
were significant with uh, no differences in uh, overall local relapse rate, which was less than 5% in the Falferinox uh, arm. So Falferinox is a safe regimen with manageable toxicities and do not, does not impair overall treatment feasibility and tolerance in uh, uh, T3, T4 rectal cancer and we had the increase in PCR, curative intent surgery, DFS, metastasis free survival and also better quality of life result over time with uh, for example less importance. So uh, we think that it's great, uh, these are great results for, for the patients with T3, T4 rectal cancers. First, it's uh, feasible. Uh, tolerance uh, is good with uh, only one sudden death and much more uh, toxic effect and toxic death in uh, the, uh, in the uh, uh, standard uh, arm. It's probably more easy to begin with falferinox uh, in uh, patient with good cardiovascular disease and uh, good performance T to zero or one, and this is the large majority of patients with uh, uh, rectal cancer. And uh, it's probably more safe and more easy to begin with cycles of chemotherapy, even if you change a bit the dose and then to uh, go to chemo radiation uh, uh, after and then surgery and adjuvant, uh, uh, adjuvant chemo. So it's a, a feasible uh, scheme. It's now the, the basis for multiple randomized uh, study which are ongoing uh, in, in France uh, to uh, further improve uh, surgical results.